Hi, garden writer George Weigel here, and this week would be a really good time to talk pruning because we're late into the spring and early summer, which is perfect time to prune just about uh, two thirds to three quarters of the landscape plant. <laughs> gets pruned and how depends on what you're trying to do, uh, what look you're trying to achieve, and also the plant itself. Uh, for evergreens, for example, like I have a yew bush here, a lot of people have those in their yard. That's something you might want to shear. Otherwise, you'll be using uh, uh, hand pruners if you're trying to do uh, more natural looking uh, pruning, more open pruning. But for formal stuff, dense stuff, uh, boxes, balls, that kind of thing, shearing. Uh, if you're going to shear, you're going to use a tool like this. Uh, it's uh, power shears. I like to use electric. Some people use uh, battery powered ones or even gas powered ones. But uh, for the more uh, open pruning, you'd use different tools. For example, for little branches, use something like this, just hand pruners. And then for bigger branches, you'd use a couple of these tools, which would be loppers or uh, tree saws. Let's take a look at the shearing first. Now that would be mostly evergreens or plants you're trying to make dense. That would be things like hedges or foundation, yew bushes, arborvitaes, hollies, boxwoods, those type of plants. Uh, they can be sheared. And a couple key things to keep in mind though. One thing is uh, this is a good time of year for most things because the growth has already come on. In a bush like this, you can see all the fresh green growth and it's just about done with all the new growth for the season. But one thing is you don't want to go in too far. You can see the younger uh, light green growth. That's perfectly fine to trim almost all that off. But if you look in a little bit farther, you'll see last year's growth, which is darker green. Not a big problem to take that off either, most, uh, most of it. But if you keep going, you'll see the stems are bare inside, no needles at all. Some plants will even push new growth from that, but for some plants, if you shear too far in to where the bare stems are, you'll kill that section of the plant. A good rule of thumb is don't go back into where it's bare. Uh, I'll show you how to do it here. I'm gonna trim a little bit off with my head shears, but notice I got gloves on and I got glasses on, and if you're using power tools to make a lot of noise, you wanna use your plugs too. So let's take a look. Here's, I'm just gonna lightly shear this yew bush. Now for flowering shrubs, things that you really want to keep looking natural, you just need to control the size a little bit. And even for some evergreens too, if you don't like that uh, dense formal look, you would use hand pruners uh, where you snip branch by branch. You're taking off one by one selectively, ideally at joints where branches uh, come out, side shoots come out, that'd be a good spot to snip. One thing to remember though would be this time of year, late spring, early summer, you would prune the shrubs that have already bloomed, that'd be forsythia, lilac, wygela, azaleas, those kind of plants. Because if you try to snip things that haven't yet bloomed that are gonna bloom in July or August, you're gonna cut the flower buds off now. So things that are done blooming is what you would be trimming uh, right now. So you just keep snipping, going around the bush, snipping off the overly long things, ideally at a place where the side shoots are coming out, clip right above that. And just snip and snip and snip. It takes a, a lot longer than shearing, uh, and don't be afraid to step back and see how it's looking as you go along because once you take the branches off, you can't put them back on. But in the end, uh, you'll have a nicely uh, size controlled shrub that'll still look natural. One last thing, get the pruning done by the end of the summer because fall is the worst time to prune just about anything. So get it all done by I'd say maybe uh, September. Labor Day is a good cutoff. Get your pruning done and you'll be all set for winter.